Hey, I'm Sean Veers, and this is the Battle of Berlin, the Reichstag building. So um, this is during uh, the end of World War II, you know, the final months. Uh, the Russians have invaded uh, the Berlin and are approaching uh, the Reichstag. This is one of the uh, this is the German Parliament building, and one of the uh, keystones that the Russians wanted to take as a symbol of their victory. Um, so I tried to capture this as best as I could um, in Lego. So I tried to make it as uh, close to minifig scale as possible, but it is still slightly smaller, although it is still huge. <laughs> yeah. And I used a lot of uh, reference photos, uh, those of which I could find. There was not very many, but the uh, good news was for me is that uh, they have uh, the Reichstag building that still exists today um, still has the same architecture. So it was uh, really good to uh, find for reference photos and stuff. So I also used a lot of inspiration from uh, Call of Duty uh, World at War, the video game. Uh, the final, uh, one of the final missions, you uh, approach the Reichstag, Reichstag building and eventually get inside of it. And sadly, I could not get the famous uh, photo of the, uh, the Russians planting the flag on top of the building because this is just before they've entered the building. So as you can see in the front, they're all storming uh, the stairs up to the entrance and uh, trying to defeat the Germans. I've kind of tried to capture um, the Germans uh, falling back. And as you can see in the uh, front on the first level of the stairs, there's a lot of uh, fallen German soldiers and they've started to move back until the entrance to defend as much as possible. So uh, in defending this building, the Germans, there was a lot of like SS and uh, really like the hardcore Nazi soldiers that uh, were defending this building. So I tried to capture you know, as many Germans as possible, but they were also few in numbers as they approached the end. So take us through kind of the, what we have outside the building as far as the Russian soldiers and uh, how those guys came together. All right, so I had a lot of uh, uh, Russian minifigures from uh, previous mocks that I've done uh, with Russians as well as Germans. So I tried to expand and uh, get as many as possible. I have some of my custom stickered ones. I got Brick Mania stickers. I also have um, some Citizen Brick and uh, Minifig Co. So it's just a hodgepodge because I also wanted to capture, um, you know, the uh, very uh, the varying types of outfits that the soldiers have. And with the Germans as well, same thing. Uh, I had uh, Brick Mini stickers and uh, Citizen Brick and Minifig Co. Uh, and as you were trying to get the rubble uh, looked down, which I think you captured very well with kind of all that dilapidated kind of pieces strewn around. Did you have to experiment with that to get that look right? Yeah, it's definitely, um, with this you can kind of throw pieces wherever and it does look good, but I tried to um, huddle the uh, pieces in certain areas to try and make it look like, you know, uh, parts of the building had fallen over and exploded and all that stuff. So it's just about, you know, maneuvering it and putting it in the right place, but also randomness uh, is kind of how it is in war, so it's easy to just throw stuff anywhere and it looks great. What were some of the, the hardest to achieve kind of architectural features on the, the building itself? So one of the easiest um, designs I had were the pillars. However, they took the longest time because um, they use a series of uh, Travis bricks, the bricks with studs on all of the sides, yeah. and uh, studs stacked together to achieve that look. And then you stack tiles and plates on the outside. Although it was an easy technique, it took the longest to get all the parts for it and stuff. Um, and finally put together, but outside of it, it was designing uh, the structure um, behind uh, the Reichstag was the biggest problem, and trying to make the front look as good as possible while making sure that everything behind it is structurally sound. Um, so like for example, the roof up top is one big uh, solid piece that I um, made sure to put like structure underneath and really make it strong so I could transport it. What is the structure on the back like? Is there any kind of interior or is it just kind of stuff holding everything up? Uh, it's a lot of just Duplos, you know, your colored bricks. It's, it's like a rainbow in there. <laughs> yeah, I tried to use as many uh, support structures as possible. But like I said, the roof was so strong, I didn't need a base under it. But on the sides, like the roofs are held up by Duplos and, you know, you know colored Lego bricks. And also a technique that I used to achieve the flush look on the outside is I was running out of gray pieces towards the end of this because just so many. And I... Um, Instead of using, you know, just your flat, like, uh, one by and two by bricks, I started to use, like, um, slopes and stuff, but with the uh, flat side, the flush side facing outward. So you still get the flush look, but you're able to um, 
uh, still uh, use those pieces because there wasn't a lot of like sloped work in this. It was a lot of just you know linear uh, structures. So I I tried to use those pieces when I could so I can save on my parts. So if you look on the inside, especially see a lot of different pieces jutting out. Um, but it's definitely useful in building big structures like this. And you even captured what today is kind of the iconic glass dome on the building. You captured part of that with just kind of the steel structure. Yeah. Um, so that was one of the actually the biggest problems that I ran into is as I built this, I had scaled the building how I wanted it, and I put as much of the building on the mock as possible. But then I realized that the dome is actually in the center, and it's I didn't have enough to build back more. So I tried to capture it with just using some uh, hinge pieces and some plates to try and get that look. Um, the new uh, Reichstag dome is like a glass, uh, more like a hemisphere shape, um, where the old one was more uh, rigid, and um, that's what uh, how I was able to really use those hinge pieces to get that look because it was the design back then fitted uh, and suit suited that. <laughs> so when you bring this to show like Brick Fair, what's the setup process like for it? So um, I had to travel from uh, Detroit, Michigan, so it was about a nine-hour drive to Virginia. So I had to make sure that all of this would uh, stay in pieces. So I built uh, all of the walls come apart in separate sections. Uh, a lot of the entrance pieces uh, and the uh, pillars all come off, as well as, like I said, the roof. Um, building that all together helped to easily move it um, but stay together as well. All of the towers on both ends are also uh, big pieces. The one thing I uh, found, though, is that I had never actually stuck all of them together before. They would all just rest um, on the building itself when, I'd, uh, when, I, when I was building it because I knew I had to take them apart. So that was a kind of a struggle when I got here is pushing them all down because, you know, the larger, um, the larger area of Lego you have to push down, the harder it is to get everything to stick right. But it still looks good, especially with the, uh, the rubble and, you know, the uh, dilapidated design and stuff. What is the uh, public reaction typically like when they see a build like this? So obviously you've got some pretty heavy material that you deal with when depicting a battle like this in World War II. So is there varying reactions you get from the public or what is that response like? Yeah, a lot of people are like, especially because the backside um, isn't covered and you can see all the bricks. If they approach from the backside, they're like kind of curious to see what is this? And when they get around to the front, they like their eyes, you know. Uh, widen and they're like whoa and it's um, I really tried to uh, achieve the size and scale to get that reaction and tried to make it um, viewable from the um, the side all the way around to the other side as much as possible but I definitely have had uh, positive reactions and uh, great comments on it I think you captured the scene very nicely so I'm so glad you could bring it out to Brick Fair thank you awesome thank you